before y'all hop into the comments talking about how I don't ever post anymore and um, I don't care about y'all and I fell off and this this and that I just want to say that you can choke because I have been trying to keep my head above water as I finished my last semester well second to last semester of college see y'all I'm already done I'm already ready to go and that was just a joke don't choke for real but um y'all I've been mad busy and I know I always tell y'all I'm gonna be more consistent and this 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 and that I'm not even gonna say it this time I'm just gonna do it you feel me um, as I stated before, I graduate next semester, May 2019. We uh, and I'm so ready to graduate college. I got about a don't have a watch on. I got about um 30 minutes before I gotta go to class. So I just wanted to do this little video for y'all because like as I'm in my senior year, like I'm realizing that there are a lot of different rules you have to abide by. If you really like want to get out this hole like like it's tough like it is tough to be in college and me you feel me I'm the type of person I've had senioritis since I was in preschool like that's how deep my senioritis is embedded into my veins it's like it's like I shot up like you know how people shoot up heroin? It's like I shot up senioritis and like it just went all up and then came back down and like it's in my feet. And it's just I'm ready to graduate college and I don't think I'll ever come back to any university. And I'm super excited about that, guys. So, yeah. But um, I just want to give y'all a few rules for, you feel me, having senioritis. Because, you you feel me, you can have senioritis as a freshman, as a sophomore, as a junior. It just gets, what's the word I'm looking for? Intensified when you actually become a senior. You feel me? Rule number one for senioritis. I know that they've told you your whole life that you're supposed to strive to be the best and strive to be number one and do the best you can and, you know, never settle for less and all that other stuff. But once you become a senior, C's get degrees, honey. You feel me? C's get degrees. If you get a 70 or above on the assignment, you passed. You pa And honestly, honestly, ladies and gentlemen, you should even be happy with a 68 because in most, cl in most classes, they'll let you go with a 68. You feel me? Now, for all of you people who have like, you know, real jobs, like you want to be a doctor or a lawyer or like a pediatrician or an architect or an animologist I don't know I don't know what real people do um for those of you who want to do that you feel me it sucks for you but you're actually gonna have to do your best because y'all feels are like yeah lucky for me I don't do anything but like learn lines on a piece of paper and go on stage and read them so lucky for me C's get degrees rule number two now you know, you know, at elementary school when there was always that one kid that was like, they would never let you see their paper. They would never let you, they never wanted to be in like the group projects, not even the group projects, but like the little group get togethers where y'all would like go and do homework before class and whatnot. When you get to college, it's time to shut all that down. Okay. It's time to shut it down. Shut it down. You hear me? You have to understand that a class that cheats together is a class that passes together. Y'all heard that? Anyway, a class that cheats together is a class that passes together. You feel me? If you don't cheat together, you're gonna repeat together. Say it with me. Don't cheat together, you're gonna that's right repeat together and I don't want to be a repeater I've never had to retake a class since I've been in college you want to know why that is it's because I believe that one of our rights as human beings is to use the knowledge of the ones around us and with that being said it's biblically correct that you do cheat. The Bible says there's a time for everything under the sun. A time to laugh, a time to cry, a time to kill, 
and a time to live and die and all of that. So if there's a time for everything under the sun, why would there not be a time for cheating? Jesus taught me that one. Shout out Jesus. That brings me to my third point. When you come to this little thing called senior year, you're going to need what we call friends with benefits. Yeah, friends with benefits. Now, all y'all little nasty, little nasty nasties, I was thinking about something else beneficial. Y'all need to get nasty. Cause I'm not talking about that, you nasty. You're nasty and you need to stop it and stop it now. A friend with benefits is a friend who, how I put it, you feel me? You may not mess with them like in real life, real life. Like you would never like hang out with them on a Saturday. You feel me? But like in class, like, that's your homie. You feel me? Like, you gotta have people who, like, they may not be, like, your cup of tea outside the classroom. You feel me? Once y'all step out, like, you don't even remember their name. But, like, when y'all in the classroom, like, y'all Gina and Pam, you feel me? Y'all, like, the Cheetah sisters. Like, you gotta, you gotta have those people around you. You feel me? Because sometimes you're not gonna wanna go to class. As Especially when you hit your senior year, you're not going to want to go to class every single day. You need to have somebody that's going to sign you into the wrong. Okay? You need to have somebody that you can send a text, or not even send a text because maybe y'all not even that close, that you can go in the classroom on Tuesday and be like, hey, yo, bruh, you got the notes? Can I take a picture of the notes real quick? And take a picture of the notes knowing you're not going to copy them down, but it's the principle that you even got the notes in the first place and that you got somebody who will give you the notes. You feel me? You got to have friends with benefits because sometimes your friend with benefit may come into class with like two Krispy Kreme donuts and like be like, hey, bro, you want a Krispy Kreme donut? And then you're going to go off your diet and be like, you know what? I've been doing real good. I might as well eat a Krispy Kreme donut. True story. And it was delicious. So you got to have friends with benefits. Because every relationship that you have in this life. Yeah. Now I know, I know, I know there were only three rules. But like, I can guarantee you with these three rules. You will pass your senior year. And you will pass your senior year doing the minimum amount of work required of you. And isn't that, isn't that all any of us just aspire to be? Is the most minimalistic person that you can be. So be mediocre today, you know? Follow these rules and get your degree and then work at McDonald's for the next 60 years because what is college anyway except a scam for the government to get more money and keep us in debt for the rest of our lives? Well, thanks. Now I'm depressed again. All right, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. You feel me? Um, I had a lot of fun doing this video. I had a lot of fun actually thinking about you know, these rules to give y'all, because this is like real life. Like, I really go by this. Granted, I don't like really get C's, you feel me? I get like C pluses, but that's not the point. Anyways, like I said, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to follow me on all of my social media at underscore Tina Not Turner if you don't know by now. Now you know. Don't forget to like and subscribe and um all that other good stuff that, you know, real YouTubers say, like, you know.